Hi everyone, I'm Giuseppe Mamano. Welcome back to my new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to varnish an oil painting and how to oil out, if needed, an oil painting before we varnish it. All this after the intro. Alright guys, I'm gonna show you how to all in out a painting after you're done a dry and you see that the color kind of fades it. I use a liquid and a rag, is a t-shirt. And this happens usually after you're done painting, you dry, you see that some color get like fade. That's because if they get absorbed from the surface. So what I do after it's dry. I start apply this just a, a little, a small amount of uh, liquid, and you see that all the color come to life again. You can let it dry and maybe do it again if you need it, two, three times usually, and uh, after you can wait the dry, and after six months, you can varnish. This is what we're gonna do to this beautiful painting, it's six, seven months I go, I finish it and it's dry. Now I put it flat on a surface, clean it out if it's some dust or anything on top of it. You see the color kind of fade out with time and uh, it's not they fade out, it kind of got a little bit more dull. And uh, now it's time to varnish it. I use a gloss varnish for this painting. Sometimes I use a, a matte, sometimes I mix a matte and glossy. You gotta wait seven months, six, six months, six, seven months before you apply the varnish. That's why, because even if you touch it, and you see this dry, the surface underneath, it may not. So for the oil paint, you gotta wait at least six months to get everything perfectly dry. Now, before you start varnish, be sure to be in a place that is very good ventilator. I open my window in my studio and plus try to be in a place there is no wind because some uh, dust can attach to the varnish because this material is smell a lot a lot very like it's very smelly strong smell so use a mask use gloves i didn't in this video but i should it's, that's all of me and uh, it will be dry in a couple hours to the touch after still got a, a letter dry for one two days sometime before i put in a frame now let's come back here uh, you see i start from section on my painting i start from a corner on the left, I go to the right. I'll do that so at least I don't miss spots. When you give the varnish, always kind of bend over and look in an angle to see if you see places that you miss. You can already see how all the color come alive again. Look how, look how different it is. Some people don't varnish their painting. As some of my painting, I, I didn't varnish it. It's really whatever you like. I think with the varnish, the painting, first of all, is more protected. And uh, you can uh, wipe it out, you know, you can... Uh, I think uh, it's better doing a varnish. If you don't want this look that I give to this, this kind of a glossy varnish, you can do a matte varnish just for pro protection for your painting. You don't want the, your painting get ruined or something. Now, look how the difference from before and now. Amazing, eh? Now, at the end, when I fill in all the varnish, I go from left and right, up and down, and I try to be sure that I don't leave like a glog of paint in some parts. 
always look your painting try to get in the right angle so you can see where you need to apply more or not it's so exciting when you do the varnish after six seven months you see you you see the painting again like the last if you can remember last brush stroke when you finish your painting your look at it was so bright that's how it become again after you apply the varnish now when you do it take your time don't rush try to make sure that all the varnish is in all over the place try to be sure that you don't leave a block of varnish in some spot look in the right angle because you have some time before you dry you have at least an hour and you're not going to spend an hour putting varnish on a painting for how big it can be now we are almost done and so remember when you start that's very important go in a place they have a nice ventilation or at least a windows open and be careful if you if some like a little hair or something goes on it you can pull it out with the, the brush because when it's dry uh, I don't know I don't think you're gonna be able to and uh, use a gloves a mask and I think uh, that's it now again you see what I did, I did it from left and right and now up and down to get a nice surface and like I say watch your painting and look for spots it looks so nice so vibrant it's a little bit stinky but it really make your painting to the next level All right, guys, we are done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you are new to my channel, please remember to subscribe. I have a lot of full tutorial, time lapse, planner painting, and a lot of video that talk about my studio and what I do here. I will see you very soon. Ciao.